Light and love, dissidents. Much respect. So I am completely caffeinated to the max <laughs> right now. I just got done doing a wonderful podcast with uh, Juan and Juan and Homie Romy. And we intended to do a uh, de-occulting of the Transformers series, which was an ambitious project to begin with, because it turns out there are six uh, Transformer movies out. Um, but I highly recommend everybody, uh, as soon as it's available, I might be releasing my video before uh, Juan and Juan puts his out, but... Uh, I'll link him in the show notes as soon as it becomes available. You guys can jump down and check out his work. Uh, we had a splendid time, a meeting of the minds, uh, and it was just quite the casserole that we were able to concoct. Uh, yeah, I learned so much. It was a great opportunity to uh, share and expand our collective consciousness in a major way <clears throat> so i'll try to make sure that's available um and i can't wait to see it when it comes out myself uh i was taking notes but uh there was so much more coming out so quickly it was a great great little exchange there um <clears throat> so i'm fully caffeinated i drink way too much coffee way too late in the evening and i'm not going to sleep anytime soon Plus, my mind is just spinning with ideas um, that I need to get out and share with the masses as the old clock never stops ticking. So, uh, I want to start with uh, recent events, uh, particularly having to do with that uh, Super Bowl, uh, de-occulting de that superb owl. And um, I haven't even seen the halftime show. I'm, I, I don't think I have room in my brain pan for whatever the halftime show was all about. Uh, just a quick point of uh, significance, though. Uh, halftime, that is the liminal space. That is the, uh, the zone of inspiration. That is the crossroads. That is where Hermes shall come to deliver the message. So... Uh, one way or another, we'll get to that uh, aspect of that grand ritual one way or another. Uh, but I would love to point out and, uh, you know, kind of vindicate the tarot Tories with the fact that uh, the L.A. Rams are located very near the sign of Aries in my territories. And... <clears throat> I'm actually not into sports very much whatsoever, um, but maybe somebody could leave a comment and let me know if uh, the Rams were previously in another location, uh, as in my territories, the 37th degree markation uh, cuts right through San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge, that liminal space, the, that crossing it the area of crossing. Um, and Los Angeles is just south of that. And so uh, essentially it lands, LA lands on Andromeda. L-A is on landing on Andromeda. And I will point out that's in, I said this in my last video, in Drome and Rome, R O M E D A, Rome, Mida, look to Rome. So, uh, or a mirror could be a mirror to Rome. Um, so it's just interesting that it's just a smidge off of uh, the Aries markation as. Uh, my ideal spot for the L.A. Rams would be uh, in San Francisco or just north of San Francisco. Uh, and uh, even more accurate is the Cincinnati Bengals 
are definitely located in my quadrant for Leo, indicating that lion, the cat, as the bangles are the bee angels, the bad angels. <laughs> bee angles. Uh, the second, second angle, who knows? So, uh, I find it beautiful. I've, uh, since I started the territories research, uh, you know, I go into the, uh, logos, the slogans, the state mottos, um, and the state flags and the, um, mascots of various sports teams. And I can almost always find uh, many examples of these uh, archetypes of the Zodiac and the Minor Decans and the Tarot cards uh, corresponding perfectly with their location on the Tarot Tories map. Um, and I'm going to make a few points to kind of uh, to bring in my previous research from uh, videos, my last couple videos. I absolutely predicted that the Rams would win. Um, I guess I should have made a bigger deal about it. Uh, I'm not a betting man. I am not into uh, gambling. That is not even remotely uh, my intention. Although I'm sure someday somebody will get a hold of the territories and try to make some sort of gambling significance out of the work. Um, but I could uh, would have put money on it if I was into that that the Rams were absolutely going to win. And the reason is because of the honking, the great honking. <clears throat> the great honking uh, from my previous videos happened under the sign of sickness, the royal swan of the heavens. Um, and as I mentioned in my other videos, the royal swan of sickness is a markation of warning, a horn, or an alarm bell, an alarm uh, implement, as the pharaohs, as the Romans, as the Chinese emperors, all used the goose to, uh, in, to give warning. And also, the readers of the auguries, the rota. Uh, I don't need to write this, but the Rota, readers of the auguries. Uh, there were many forms of augury reading. There was the reading of the entrails of serpents, uh, which is the translation for the Vatican, divining serpent. Uh, all of the, that was a more Etruscan uh, tradition of reading the auguries. And there is also a form of augury reading that involves the flight of birds. <clears throat> and so what this tells us, much like Groundhog's Day, as we look to animals and observe their behavior in an attempt or an effort or a ritual to predict future outcomes, um, that Cygnus and Groundhog's Day happening in that time of the year is a, a reading of auguries. It's an attempt to... Uh, to interpret the language of the birds and forecast outcomes uh, in uh, times to come. So, all that being said, the Great Honking of Canada has uh, much to do with uh, warning alarms going off. Uh, and now that we have turned past this time frame, we are in... Uh, turning through Aquarius, going into the rise of, this, of the seasons, we have experienced yet another grand honking, and that being the ram's horn. The ram's horn of the LA Rams is another indication of uh, initiation process. We are talking about the war horns, the horns of war, the shofar. S-H-O-F-A-R, the shofar, is a implement that is used to give warning, to initiate the charge. It is a battle cry for the warriors to uh, commence the battle. Also, uh, if that was not convincing enough that the ancient shofar was used as a horn, um, much like in 
uh, on the battlefield, the horn is used to signal uh, the time for charge and a time for retreat. The uh, shofar is also used as a uh, to load gunpowder into the musket. And so when you see on the old battlefields, when you see the shofar lifted into the sky, that means that they are loading the musket. And the only thing that is about to happen, it tells you you have just a few seconds before you're about to hear a very dangerous bang. So all of these aspects of uh, battle ritual are being pl put in plain sight. And many people... Uh, you know, they want to hold on to that hope that things are going to just stay the same or go back to normal. But I am, in my reading of the auguries, I think that we should be uh, uh, stocking up. We should stock up. We should get ready for things to get pretty wild. So that is just a quick synopsis of uh, what I saw in the... Um, the signs and symbols being put out just in a surface level take on the superb owl ritual. Um, and like I said, maybe I'll circle back <laughs> like Jen Pisces Pazaki and um, cover the uh, halftime show. And we'll talk about that liminal space as we are about to be between the seven and the eight. That's the G to the eight. We're about to cross over the gates. And the message uh, couldn't be more clear that we are in a transitional time. And uh, basically, the, the message I'm getting is, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> All right, y'all. Strength and love. Next, uh, next up on the, on the to-do list, I'm going to circle on back to the, the echidna in the echidna research because things are getting really heavy. The longer I look at this, uh, this symbol, this myth of this historical myth, the more I realize it is uh, highly venerated in some of the most influential uh, organizations in the world. Uh, it's some history in the making. And I just, uh, I got to put this out into the ethers and uh, get it off my uh, to-do list because it is taking on a life of its own. <laughs> All right, everybody. Strength and love. Much respect.